Hello friends and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Join me today as I get stuff done. Because it's bad, it did a bad thing. You wanna know what that bad thing was? It is the weekend, it is Saturday. And uh, that guy right there has got to mow the lawn and poop a scoop. Shaylee is in her room cleaning. And Mr. Toodles, that's my husband if you're new here. You guys named him, so cute, because he always says toodles at the end of some of the videos. And I get that question asked a lot, especially on Instagram, so now you know. He is out with our oldest son, uh, getting the last of the things he needs for prom tonight. It's a senior prom, time goes by fast. And if you've been with me from the beginning of She's in Her Apron, you've seen it, time goes by fast. Also, this month, She's in Her Apron is celebrating 10 years on YouTube. Can you pull? leave it it started off as a hobby didn't know i just wanted an outlet and to share and keep me accountable and look what it's grown into it's incredible so thank you for all of you for tuning in and um finding us i'm ever so thankful i love sharing what i'm learning with you and you guys have blessed our family in return so thank you so much all right um i'm just listening to a marco polo from my sweet friend karina from life's little things have you seen her channel she's so stinking cute her link is below um we've become seriously amazing friends and i talk to her every day using marco polo so all right so i'm gonna get to it i have my apron on this apron is from nikki from inspired my nikki she sent this out to me a while ago and it is beautiful beautiful so if you like to check out her apron line, um, she has an Etsy shop, I'll leave that below. This is so precious. Do you have everything for prom? Yes. Yes, you got your tie? Yeah, I just got it. They match all the shoes. And your shoes. Prom is much different from when I was young. Well, you should have saw the shoes that we tried to get. These are the last resorts. <laughs> oh my gosh. So is her dress red then? Yeah. Oh my word, so different. It was you, your tux cummerbund had to match the dress. Okay. Now it's dress. the ties and the shoes. What's a cummerbund? What's a cummerbund? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm about to clean my kitchen because it's a freaking mess. But I took out a whole chicken that I had in my deep freezer. And I'm going to thaw it out um, all day in here. In the cold water, I'm going to keep flipping it over, changing the water. Hopefully, we'll be eating this chicken tomorrow with dinner. So we'll see, if not, it'll be Monday's dinner. Um, but I at least want to get a head start on thawing this baby out. The brightest sky I have ever seen The most colorful one Oh, I've done it now. I've done it now. And if they ask us where we've been hiding, we'll just shake our heads. And when no one is listening, I, I confess. I'll let you in on everything, even the fact that. Like that I'm obsessed with 
make the house smell good. So I'm gonna chop up some apple and an orange and put some cinnamon and nutmeg in and putting it in this little 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 crock pot and then it'll just simmer and make the house smell so good. I love doing this when I have apples that are ready to go. But my kids have been in an apple kick lately. They can't get enough of them. I'll end up eating uh, half of this orange for sure. Have my water and I, I love the reduce mugs they can keep things hot and cold and your ice will last till like the next day it's amazing so I'll leave an Amazon link for this down below I love it okay so um every day every day I have mixers I've shared this before with you and if I ha this is not sponsored by them but I do have an affiliate link I'll leave it below and I'm doing a giveaway right now so listen up I started using them last summer and saw a difference in how I felt, my health, my periods. So my periods got better, less cramping. I'm gonna fill my mug today with some Her Time Daily. I'm gonna do Juicy Peach Lemonade. So it's from this packet here. I take it every day um, and I have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and I noticed a big change in how I feel this you take every day to help balance out your hormones. And I'm giving a packet of this away. This packet has Her Time Daily Lemonade Variety Pack. So it has Raspberry Refresher, Strawberry Lemonade, and Juicy Peach. And there's 30 packs in there. So I'm gonna mix mine today with a Juicy Peach. I'm gonna have it with my Her Multi, Multivitamin. I'm gonna mix that together. And this is Berry Burst. And what I do is I uh, throw them in my mug here and then I put really warm water in and swish it around. It dissolves better with warm water instead of cold water. And then I add my ice and my water in and boom, it's delicious. You can mix and match flavors and see what you like. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm giving away today one of these. So there'll be a, a special link for that down below. And I'm giving away the Her Time Nightly. And now it comes in a packet like this as well. Before it came like this, and it, every time I would go on a trip, instead of bringing this big thing, I would do portions in a baggie. Now I don't have to. They make it like the other pixie sticks, and this helps you fall asleep. It's like drinking hot cocoa. You could drink it cold, you could drink it hot, but it's like drinking hot cocoa, and it helps you just ease into sleep. It is so good. When they came out with these packets, I was over the moon. They come in 15. So you could get 15 Her Nightly and a 30 pack of Her Time. Check out their website. I have felt so good since I've started these and I wanted you guys to experience it as well. Check it out. I'm telling you, I, 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 this, this has made a big difference in my life. Huge. And it makes a really good Mother's Day gift too if you want to give it to anybody. So there you go. Time to do some laundry. I actually don't mind doing laundry. I hate putting it away, but all in all, I find it very satisfying. I would much rather do laundry 
than dishes any day of the week. Okay, time to straighten out this pantry. I'm just trying to put everything back in their home and system. It just, it gets crazy. It's life. I really love these airtight containers. I got them from Walmart years ago. They're still there. I think they're made by Better Homes and Gardens. And they're so great for all the snacks. They're see-through, you can see them. I like to see my things and it's just easier for the kids. So I'm just gonna restock some of these and just straighten everything up. This is the big bread bin. This is where we put all our buns and tortillas and homemade bread. And then the loaf that we're eating is in a bread box on top of the bookshelf there in the pantry. So recently I was asked the question, I think on Instagram or here in the comments in one of the videos by a sweet viewer. She was asking, what is the difference between my pantry and my food storage room? Well, this pantry houses everything that we quickly go to or need to make a meal with, like all the basics. I actually will be having a video coming out here very soon about my pantry and how I'm going to be streamlining it and how I'm adding some things in to make dinners and things from scratch a whole lot easier, so stay tuned. But our food storage room houses our short-term food storage and some of our long-term food storage. I don't go shopping at the stores first. I shop my shelves first. So every ingredient in our food storage room actually belongs to a recipe or is a common ingredient that is used in a lot of recipes. So I fill my pantry from what is in my food storage room, if that makes sense. But it actually saves a ton of money. If you'd like to learn how you could build a one to three month rotating food storage, I do have some video links for you down in the description box. So the great and horrible thing that happened in our pantry was this freezer turned off. And we realized that because things that were piling here, it knocked the plug undone and we lost everything in this freezer. Now, um, we lost some jams, a big bag of frozen rolls, and two packages of lunch meat from Costco, which each of them I think were two pounds each. I lost like four pounds of meat and a ton of orange juice from Costco. That was a sad, sad day. So I've gotta reorganize this. Also, Derek's gonna put some electrical tape around there so it doesn't get bumped again. But oh my goodness, sad day. I hate losing food like that, so I'm gonna fix this. Okay, with that Costco haul that I didn't show you, um, I did get the Cento tomatoes. Um, they're the crushed. Um, two packages of those because I used some up when doing the gravy and gotta restock, right? And then some more soap, the Dove Sensitive Soap, and then the Orgain Plant Protein Shakes. I love having these. Every day I have one. Um, this will get put away. That will go in the food storage room, and these will be put in the food storage room as well. I was just looking over the grocery ads, and 
from Smith's and from Macy's and comparing prices on my phone to Walmart and to Macy's and Smith's online to see the different prices. And I just wanna share with you, it's always good to compare prices at other stores. I taught a food storage class this past week and I was shocked at how many people don't even compare prices at other stores that don't even have a price point for what you know they get. Um, so I was teaching them about it. So like strawberries at Macy's, two for four, ooh, two dollars. Yeah, that was actually the best deal out of all the stores. Walmart had a pound of strawberries for $2.54 and Smith's had them for $2.50. So Macy's, yeah, I would totally pick up strawberries for $2. Um, they have red vine tomatoes, 99 cents a pound. Smith's has them on sale right now for 88 cents and Walmart is $1.98. So if I was going to Smith's in my area or driving by or whatever, you gotta figure out how you wanna do this without wasting gas. Okay, select varieties of cheeses. The 16 ounce, their store brand food club um, is $2.99 each. Well, Walmart right now is $3.68 and Smith's is $4.29. So yeah, go pick up, you know, a pound of cheese um, from Macy's. And then I went over here to, um, to Smith's and um, their chuck roast is actually a good deal at Smith's. Walmart was $6.47 and Macy's was $4.49. Four for 10, you can mix and match. So that makes them 250 each. So I was looking at the ice cream and Macy's is 2.99 and Walmart is $1.97. So it's still a better deal to get the store brand of um, Walmart ice cream than th getting this deal. And then I was looking at the pepperoni. Walmart is 2.26 and Macy's is 3.99. So even though this is a sale for 250, um, it's still better to get it at Walmart. There's a, just some things that we could do to help save a buck when we're planning and looking at the deals going on. Prices are going up and it, it's now time. If you've never done it before, it's time to do your homework. It's so important to know what is a good deal and what is not a good deal because I was in the store recently and the sales that they were having they weren't sales they had these yellow sales tags on the shelf i lifted the tag up and it's the same price underneath i just encourage you to keep an eye on deals and prices to help you save money right now um, and help make your budget grow and build your one to three month food storage it's just shaylee and i tonight uh jonah's at prom boston went with dad to go play games with the guys and it's just Shaylee and I, so gotta make dinner. I gave her all the options. She wants a burger. So we're gonna, she's gonna have a burger and I, and I am gonna do the spinach ravioli because that just sounded so good. And I have some tater tots. Let's just cook them up. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And I'll put this back in the refrigerator. I think I'll add a little garlic powder to it. And some seasoned salt. Here is my dinner. I steamed up some broccoli. Oh, look at that ravioli with the pesto. There's spinach in there, mozzarella. It's so good. And then I'm using the basil pesto from Costco. Yummy, yummy. Mm, look at that. Oh, yum. It's a very green meal, but delicious. So Shaylee's very happy with her burger, her tater tots. Yum, yum. I even She even has some broccoli. And that's just how dinner is going to go tonight. Tomorrow we'll have that chicken. Maybe I can get Derek to smoke it. Mm -hmm, that sounds good. So we'll do all the big, you know, Sunday dinner tomorrow. So this is what's going on tonight. All right, so Jonah should be d almost done with his prom date. And they're, she, they're coming back. She's getting ready here. And uh, say goodbye to them. So crazy, last prom. <laughs>
Well friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to click on the giveaway down below on the mixers. You're gonna love them. They're so good. And if you would like to learn more about food storage and shopping your shelves, click on the playlist below to get started. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you soon. Bye. De Derek's watching on the doorbell thing. What? I said they look really good. They do look really good.